Hey guys, I'm Dale Busby. I'm a photographer and filmmaker, and this video is going to be about Lightroom Classic Basics. Um, this is a new series that I'm going to be filming throughout the couple weeks. I can't wait to see how you guys react to it. I sure hope this is going to be an amazing series, because I am pumped on this series, man. Alright, so let's get right into it. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the contrast and exposure and how to fix those things in post. The exposure slider is to fix your exposure, rather that be if it's the photo's too dark or it's too bright, you can fix the photo and get it to how exposed you want it to be um, so that the viewer could see more of the image. Shadows. The shadow slider is so that you can fix the shadows and rather that be either brightening up the shadows or turning down those shadows. I love to use this slider a lot in my photos. You'll see me use it a lot throughout my Instagram feed, which is um, very dark and moody, I guess you could say. It has very rich colors. You'll see me use this a lot in each one of these photos. Next on the list is highlights. The highlight slider is so that you can either darken or brighten the highlight and I usually don't use this personally because I find that the highlights are just, if you brighten them up just a tad, it, the photo doesn't look good. But if you turn down the highlights, it also doesn't really look good. I only use the highlight slider on certain occasions, and um, but I rarely use it. Next up is the whites and blacks. Whites and blacks are just so that you can add more contrast into a photo. Um, but I'm going to show you a different way that's better than using the whites and blacks slider. Another way for you to add contrast into your photos instead of using the blacks and the white sliders, you could also use the tone curves. Now yes, I know that the tone curve is a little bit harder and more advanced to learn, but it just takes practice. After a couple photos, you guys will be getting used to it a lot. I'm going to show you how you can use this your photos. So the first thing you guys need to understand is how the curves affect your image. So the first thing you guys need to know is how to use the tone curves. Tone curves are really fun. They can affect your images in crazy ways and I love using tone curves because I love adding contrast to all my photos and how to get that contrast is by making an S curve. At the very bottom of the tone curve you get the blacks and in the middle you get the midtones and then at the top you get the highlights and by adding an S curve on the tone curve is you can get a very balanced out type of contrast on your images and yes you can go back and adjust the tone curve later on if that's needed to but usually S curves is the way to go just make sure you don't over contrast it and just be smart and use these things I'm gonna give you guys an example of how I use this. I'm sure that you guys are able to tell that I love contrast in all my photos. Um, if you guys don't already follow me at William D. Busby on Instagram, you'll see on my feed, I love the more moody and darker tones in my, all my photos. And by using this technique that I've taught you guys will make you guys have a lot more of a stylistic type of moody, contrasty look in all your photos by using the tone curves. With all this being said, I hope you guys have learned something from this video and can take something away from it and put it into your creative workflow and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one all right guys see ya